Thanks a lot for that call. We're talking to Lauren Bauer from the Brookings Institution about the end of pandemic era unemployment insurance programs coming up at the end of this week. Let's go back to your calls now. Paul is on the line in Monona. Paul, hello. Oh, thank you for having me. I think right now is a great opportunity for people to kind of switch careers. I mean, maybe they're in the service industry. They could find something else, possibly in a factory or a warehouse. I was able to do that, make more money. Um, I don't understand why we'd be giving money to people who choose to be unvaccinated. I mean, I understand some medically can't be vaccinated, but that's a very small number. But we got a lot of people out there who, who don't want to get vaccinated, and yet we're giving them money. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's a voluntary system. We don't have to give you money. You don't have to get vaccinated. But if we're going to give you money, I think, you know, we should be vaccinating. People, people should be getting vaccinated. And, uh, you know, I just there's a lot of people choosing not to mm. work. And it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Paul, I wanted to ask, uh, what ki- if you're willing to share, what kind of service work did you get out of? And was it just because of the money or was it something about the service job as well? Well, I got out of uh, working in, in bars as a bartender because, well, I mean, you know, everything shut down. And then uh, when, uh, you know, I was looking for jobs, I was able to find, uh, you know, jobs uh, in, in basically in a warehouse making a lot more money. And uh, Epstein didn't kill himself. Paul, thanks a lot for the call, except for the strange digression at the end there. But, uh, Lauren, uh, Paul's point about uh, service sector workers, I know a lot of people, anecdotally at least, getting out of that line of work, looking for more lucrative things.